you plant crimson clover for your honeybees, what do you think else gets it? You got it. It brings in the deer. Hey, this is ECP. I do bees, and we're going to look at getting some comb honey. Stay tuned. Okay, everyone. Hope you're doing well. Quick little video. No, I haven't done one in a while, but we're gonna sneak out here on the farm with the hopes of grabbing some comb honey. I need to freeze it for three or four days before I <clears throat> put it up. Comb honey needs to be frozen to make sure that it's safe for everything, and then we'll go ahead and add it to the honey jars. But uh, doing it all the right way, and I'm gonna try and pull some honeycomb here because the hope is that we draw out some honey here uh, this weekend maybe some spring honey put these supers back on for the rest of the flow here for the summertime so hey stay tuned we're driving down to the farm right now see if we see any deer see if we see any turkeys through the windshield here got the windows up still allergy season I'm gonna keep them up as much as I can especially when I'm driving and brushing some pollen off the trees through the uh, farm area. Need to pick and clean it up a little bit out here too. So hopefully we're gonna get some work done soon, but stay tuned. Okay, we're getting down here to the apiary. That's a term for place you keep bees, apiary. A-P-I-A-R-Y. You can see these hives are stacked up here. We got our splits over there. We got the bigger production hives over there. We're going to know which one of these hives have some comb honey on them, so we're going to try and snitch some of those out here in just a minute. So stay tuned. So I got out here to show you a little something here. These are my nukes or my splits. Uh, three of them are already in double deeps. But this is called washboarding. This one here on the end on my right, right over there. If you watch and look, the bees are all washboarding. They don't quite know why they do that. I think they're line dancing. That's what it looks like. But uh, there you go. First washboarding of the year. If you want to comment what you think and why they do washboarding, let me know. But uh, let's see if we can pull some. It's getting late. Uh, let's see if we can pull some comb honey to put in the freezer for this weekend. Okay, I want to show you something neat. Something I got uh, about two years ago. This is second year using it. This is a hive butler. And uh, I think it works great when you're extracting some honey, particularly things like comb honey, or you want to just grab a few frames or boxes or want to take some foundation out. So here's a box, obviously, of medium, a medium super I just put together this week, a couple days ago. But check out this hive butler open this up they so we're selling them at the hive life conference they were there the inventors but look at this it's got slotted grooves so what i'll do is when i pull out the comb honey i'll replace it with one of these frames and then i'll take this home i can put this in the back of the cab i can seal it and if there's a bee or two left in there it can't go anywhere but i really do like the hive butler i'm, I'm, not, I'm not sponsored by them uh, they're not an inexpensive item but they make a great little father's day gift i think that's what i got it for two years ago something they you know the guy that has everything the hive butler check it out it's nice on situations like this so let's see if we can find some comb honey I told, eventually we're going to get to it we'll see okay so i had my hands full a little bit not having much help I'm trying not to use a smoker i haven't even lit one and there you go there's some comb honey I won't pull it out maybe i'll pull the next one out but beautiful this one's really far back on the edge this one tore a little bit a little more shallower but it's deeper on this other side but uh some thick thick honeycomb they really drew it out drew it out in these eight frame boxes so let's see if we can get a few more frames 
Okay, here we go. I pulled out of the big hive there. I pulled one regular frame too. It's all capped. The entire super was capped 100%. Pulled this extra one. It's a nice looking honeycomb. Nice on both sides. A little bigger hive here. Not much wonky comb. But uh, if you look up here on the hillside, it's from my biggest hive. We had two of those. And I'm a little out of breath. Um, lifting, moving, the whole nine yards. No smoke and uh, went quite, quite well considering it's almost dark. Hey, uh, I'll show you something here in the cab of the truck here after I get ready. Stay tuned. Okay, YouTube, we are in the truck. Cooling off a bit. Got my dirt rooster hat. 628. Got a new t-shirt for them too. Uh, you, windows are getting a little foggy because I got the air cranked up on max. Temperature's kind of warm out here. It's 81 degrees still. And it's 15 till 9. But I want to show you here. Look here, I'm going to show you something for a beekeeper's treat. Little crazy calm. Stay tuned. There you go. That's for ECP. A Gatorade and a big old chunk of autumn olive crazy comb that the bees drew out on that wax foundation. It fell off. Good news is it fell off right onto a frame I had laying there. And uh, that is now going to be my snack for the evening. What a treat. And if you haven't ever tried autumn olive honey, oh my goodness. You are missing one of the best honeys known to mankind, at least in my area. So, hey, thanks for watching. If you could do me a favor, hit that like button. If you're not already a subscriber, subscribe, share it. Tell some other beekeepers or people who like to watch honeybees that, hey, ECP is more than coins and precious metals. He's into the other gold, golden honey with his honeybees. Hey, thanks everybody. Y'all take care. ECP, over and out.